Hi everyone, this is JP here with Websites for Beginners and today I want to talk to you about backup and if you've never backed up your site, when you finish this video, go install this plugin and make your first ever backup and there's a few reasons you have to do that. The first reason, if you want to use all-in-one WP migration, is maybe one day you want to take your site from one domain to another and then you migrate it. It is so simple and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. The biggest reason is reason number two and reason number two is hacking malware. No host is safe. It has happened to me, it can happen just like that and then you will need a clean copy of your site so that you can continue your work. And the third reason is sometimes when you upgrade a plugin, a theme or any page builder, that doesn't work very well and, and you need to go quickly back to an old version, then you have a backup for that. And all-in-one WP migration can do all of that for you and we're going to work with the free version. But then I'm going to show you how you can automate all of that with a pro extension and that will also allow you to sync it to an offsite cloud like OneDrive, Dropbox, Box, Amazon S3, the works. Let's see how you can do that. We begin with the installation import, export, and then the pro extensions. Here I have my WordPress site. Let's see currently what is going on with my site. Actually, it's an e-commerce site, so we not only have a blog and a lot of pages with a lot of content, we even have a shop in here. So we've installed a theme, we've installed WooCommerce, we have lots of media, and we've got a few other plugins as well. Let's go see that just to show you everything that we've got here. Ah, these amounts of posts and we've got a number of pages and then products. We also have a few products there. And let's go to our plugins to see, I think it's about five or so plugins that we have currently installed here. Great, so all of these plugins installed and they are activated. Let's now also install all-in-one WP migration. And that is the free plugin. As I said, we will look at the pro extensions at the end of this video, and that will automate the whole process for you. Search your all in one WP migration. You can see over 2 million active installations. All in one WP migration install now. Activate. And once activated, you will see here in the WordPress navigation menu, on the left, it appears over here. Let's click on that and see our options here. It will give us export and import and backups and export and backups more or less the same thing. What we are going to do is we are going to export in simple terms our entire WordPress site so that if anything goes wrong, we can import that copy and we can reset everything at that point of when we had exported it. Also, the whole point of a migration is, let's say I have it here on a site and I want to take it to another site, I export it, I go to that site and I install all-in-one WP migration and I import it, as simple as that. So to export, you just click here on export and you're going to have a lot of options to choose from here. These, all of them under file, are pro extensions. So if you want to export it, for example, to Dropbox or Google Drive or your Amazon S3, you're going to have to go and get that extension for it. So if I click here on Dropbox, it will open a new tab in my browser. And from here, you can purchase this extension. I will show you how I do it with OneDrive. And this, in my opinion, is the best 99 bucks ever spent for security and for backup purposes. And the reason also, and we'll talk about that soon, is that once you install the extension, you can do all-in-one WP migration automatically. You don't need to do it manually like we are going to do now. So we will export the file, and this will be the entire file of our site. It goes in, it says checking extensions, archiving 4,342 files, and it will go through the percentage of completion. So let's sit back and wait for that. So here I can download my file. It has made a copy of this file in my backups folder, but of course, if my site is going to infect it, I don't want my backup on my site. I want it separately. So what I'll do is I'm going to download it to my desktop, and all I need to do is click here on the flashing icon, and it will simply download it very quickly here for you in the bottom and then you click here on close. Let's go have a look at that file currently. 
show in folder. Over here, I have that backup downloaded and you can see if I click on it, 122 megabytes. So keep that one in mind, we're going to use it soon. I have made a backup copy now that I can either take to another computer and upload it and then I have a clone of my site or if this site of mine gets infected and I need to reinstall everything or go back to a previous install, this incompatible plugin that has messed everything up, then I'm simply going to load that. To do that, I'll go to import. Now, if I'm going to import it, we're going to have no changes, right? Because it's exactly the same site. And what I'm going to do is going to break, break, you break, break my heart. I'm going to go to plugins, install plugins. And over here, I have WordPress reset that I'm going to activate. And that will allow me to reset my entire site. Tools over here, click on reset, and then I will reset it. And it warns me, buddy, after this, it's all gone Sweet, sweet, gone. My theme is going to be gone. My pages, my posts, everything, WooCommerce, the whole tutti, it's going to be gone. So here you see, if I go to my pages, my post, it's heartbreaking, right? Now I need to bring in all-in-one WP migration again, because it has reset it. It should still be here, over there. So all I need to do is activate it. I go to my settings and click on import and import from. All I need to do is drag and drop that file. If I have an extension, I can choose here now. We'll do that very soon. So let me open my file, drag and drop it. This import process will override your website, including the database, media, plugins, and themes. Please ensure that you have a backup of your data before proceeding to the next step. Duh. Let's click proceed. Let's click on finish. And it seems like nothing happened here. We don't have our WooCommerce, we have nothing. So let's just do a reload over here. And I will have to log in again. And look at that. Here is the test. Let's go to the front end. Voila, voila. It makes us proud. Good. So we've exported and we have imported it. And let's just look here at what it says under backups. This is the backup that we had made previously. It stores one for you here in your dashboard as well. So what you can do is you can download it again if you want to. You can restore it directly from here or you can delete it. Let's go again to all-in-one WP migration to the dashboard, which will bring us to export. And then what I will do is I will say export to I'm going to click on OneDrive. That is the one I will use. So with the OneDrive, you get a lot of additional features, export and import to from OneDrive. And from OneDrive, it can be any extension you want, supports OneDrive for business, lifetime license. And that's great. What you are paying here, it's lifetime. And you can use this on as many sites as you want. Go back into WordPress, go to plugins, add new. And from here, I will install that extension. So you're going to purchase it here from SurfMask, then you download it. And of course, it's going to be our good old friend zip folder over here. Upload. We drag and drop them and we install. Activate. That's as simple as that. It's activated. Nothing more you need to do. You can see over here, all in one WP migration OneDrive extension. Let's go back here. And now you will see OneDrive settings appear here. Again, if you had used Outlook or any of the other extensions, FTP, these things will appear over here. Let's go have a look at what we get with this. The first thing you will need to do is link your account. Click on that. And this will take you through the whole process of setting it up. Of course, I'm not going to share your details with me, but because I have already linked it previously, it will do so again now this time. What is going to happen in this instance is that it's going to connect to my OneDrive account. For the URL, bloxy-free.local, it will create a folder within my OneDrive. And now all I need to do is configure my backups. So I can set the time here. How often do I want this to make a backup? 
if you work regularly, like you're working during the day, you're in crunch mode and you have to do a lot of things, going for every hour is a good idea because you may screw things up and you need to go back, then every hour is a good idea. It will make a copy of this, throw it in the OneDrive folder, just like the backup folder you saw earlier, and you can just import it again from there. My case, because I usually have a specific time, I go and work on a website daily, I put it on every day. If your site is, you know, kind of stagnant, you don't do much, then you put it on every week and every month. But I would recommend minimum every day, minimum. You, you won't believe it when I tell you minimum, but go ahead and do that. Here you can set your destination folder. And like I said, it's going to open it automatically for me at bloxy-free.local. I will leave it like that. One of the things I do is I send an email to myself when it is complete. And you can also send an email if the backup fails. And that's kind of a warning what's going on over there. Over here, keep the most recent backups. If you put it at zero, it will just keep making backups and you will have to go and delete the old ones automatically and limit the total size of backups. I would leave these at zero. If you've got the space, if you're using OneDrive, I mean, if you've got OneDrive, you probably have an Office account and that means you get one tetrabyte. It's a lot of space for that. And then here you can also set your transfer settings if you're on a slow internet or a fast internet. If you know you work with a fast internet server, you can put it at fast as well and simply then click on update. And that's it. That folder that we had created will now appear in your OneDrive folder, your Dropbox folder, whatever folder, your Amazon S3. And if you have any problems or you need to migrate your site, you just go grab it there and you do what we did earlier by importing it. And it's as beautiful as that. Will this prevent you from getting hacked? Heck no, it's not gonna prevent you from getting hacked. But if you do get any malware, and any strings that are infected, then at least you have a copy that is still pure that you can import and restore your site to a previous version. Do not think, and I will repeat it again, do not think it cannot happen to you. No host is 100% safe. That's just a fact. And sometimes you are going to try something, you're going to try a new plugin that's going to open a door or going to bring in something that's going to mess up your site. It's not that it got hacked, it just got corrupted in some way and you will need it. So this to me is probably one of the cheapest alternatives out there. Instead of getting big security plugins, you will have to look at your kind of business and how much security you need to ensure that you don't get hacked or what you need for a migration. But I love all-in-one WP migration with my OneDrive extension or whichever extension you want to use. Perfect. Right, so before we exit this video, let's have a look at all the extensions that you get when you go to SurfMask and you get one of these extensions. You have Dropbox, Google Drive, you see the FTP, the OneDrive we've talked about, and all of these include this unlimited extension that removes the import limit of 512 megabytes. So if you've got a mega store with a lot of plugins and a lot of photos, remember your photos are always going to contribute to the file size then there is no limit on the 512 megabytes. You also get the lifetime license with lifetime updates, use on any number of websites that you own and restore backup from the server with those extra features. There are many security and backup plugins out there. And all I can tell you is you need to do it now, a minimum of one of them. Whether it's all in one WP migration or any other one, if you have not backed up your site in the last week you need to go do it now and this video i hope has shown you how easily it can be done and you don't have to fear backup or migration it's a very easy process